Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Cody from Frenchies at IG. I'm back with another video today. I'm gonna primarily talk to y'all about doing DNA tests with your French Bulldogs, where to go, the two, I mean, the, the, the three or four main companies in this that, that will basically be doing, uh, that will be performing the genetic testing, color coat panels on your French Bulldogs to figure out what the mate with what, what kind of colors you wanna get. Hold on. What kind of colors you wanna get, what the mate with what, and basically, you know, what tests can you get from certain places? Everybody don't have intensity, everybody don't got the cocoa, which is the gene that you wanna to test to see if the dogs got cocoa, which is basically chocolate, it's two, the other type of chocolate. And uh, I'ma show y'all what type of DNA test I got DNA kit test that I got for my dogs and specific reasons why I chose the DNA test that I got and you know who did you who you might want to go to to also do a health test because health test is super important you don't want to mate a dog that's got a bad health gene with another dog that's got a bad health gene and then they come together and 50 to 100 percent of the litter will come out with this bad gene or 25 percent or you know it's just it's just a bad mixture you don't want to have a possibility of any percentage of your litter to have any kind of health problems or any kind of hereditary you know, disorders that they may have got carried on from the parents, the mother or the father. So you always wanna also do a health test and you wanna do a color coat you know, panel because you don't wanna sell a dog for less money than what it's worth and you don't wanna go and get a stud that's got Merle in it and then you put that with a mother that's Merle and then you get death or blind babies and you don't wanna go and get a you know, stud that looks like it's tan and and lilac, but in reality, it's got a brindle gene, and you put it with a dog that already has a brindle gene, and half of the litter come out brindle. So, you know, you definitely want to do color coat uh, panels, color genetic color coat panels when you're trying to breed a dog. And you definitely want to do health tests when you try to breed a dog, because even if a dog physically looks like it is a beautiful dog, we all love our dogs, okay? Some of them structure, structurally look good. Some of them got the beautiful snouts. They got tough, t stubby no, stubby, stubby little tails. They got long bodies, short bodies. They got those wide backs. They got those big heads. They got the big ears that come out, the small ears. Dogs are gorgeous, and we all can see the beauty in our dogs, but sometimes the dog is still not a dog that you want to breed. Even if the dog is gorgeous, it's still not a dog that you want to breed if it's got a health problem. Because all you're doing is breeding dogs that will have more health problems and... That's something that you definitely don't want to do because it's going to put a bad name out for the breed. And people already think Frenchies got a whole bunch of problems already. So if you really out there selling Frenchies that do get problems, then it's going to them. They're going to feel like, oh, I knew I shouldn't have bought this dog because I heard they had bad health problems. And my dog actually do get bad health problems. And then they might spend a little bit of time going out, talking to people, asking them about health problems and stuff like that. Putting it on Facebook forums about having health problems with their dog that other people may or may not have experienced. And they're going to be wasting their time because any breeder that I know this legitimate that I would want to affiliate myself with or that I would want to recommend to anybody that's looking for a dog will definitely do a health test. I recommend everybody do a health test. If you a breeder, do a health test. Do a DNA test to see the color. If you don't care about the color and you only... Pro I will recommend you to do a health test before you even do a DNA test. A health test is more important than a DNA test because a DNA test is only at the benefit of you of knowing what the litter going to be. But the health test is at the benefit of the dog, is at the benefit of the litter, is at the benefit of new lives that you want to help create and bring into this world. That The health test is at the benefit of them. <clears throat> and a dog should be the priority at all times. But let me get into this, y'all. That was just a rant about, you know, the introduction about DNA tests and why they're so important. Now, moving on to the second step on which tests, you know, offer these different types of uh, DNAs that you can get at these different places that'll basically do the testing. So let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. And the first company that we're gonna talk about that perform these DNA tests will be Animal Genetics. Animal Genetics go deep in depth in the profile DNA of your dog, but they pretty much charge you every single thing that you add on. It's like $40 to add Coco if you do a, a full panel test. I believe a full panel test is around $130. The complete color profile plus coat length is $155 and it doesn't include any health testing at Animal Genetics. So just expect to pay $155 just right off the bat. And then you still gotta add Coco, which is something you know that won't come in a color coat genetic you know, full package thing for $155. And then you still gotta add dilution if your dog might have dilution and you still gotta add the color, I mean the coat length 
if it might be a fluffy if you got a French Bulldog and it doesn't include that neither so just expect $215, 250 $265 I don't know I just know it's overpriced okay and then we moving on to the next business I mean moving on to the next place to do the color code genetic testing but don't take my word for it y'all can get online and look at them yourself and go just see the prices and see if you get your best bang for your buck let's be honest here having French Bulldogs and breeding them owning a French Bulldog as a pet is expensive having a French Bulldog and breeding it is unaffordable <laughs> I'm just joking, but that's expensive too. You get me? It's expensive. So we're moving on to the next company. Give me a second. The next company is VetGen. VetGen does the dilution, but it doesn't do, do a long list of other color coats. Now let me get to them. So VetGen does do the cream, which is the AE Locus. They do does do the Agati, which is the A Locus. Uh, they do B. They do do a loop. The do the D for the D Lucas is just the blue. If y'all don't know the DNAs, this will be. If y'all don't understand some of these numerical in now we're talking about VetGen. VetGen is also a company to do animal genetic testing. But the thing is, is they only do Pabal, you know, which is the spotted dogs. They do black. They do blue. They do brown. The Agati Locus, and they also do the cream Locus. They do not have they, it seems as uh uc davis does not have well yeah this is uc davis this isn't vet gen sorry vet gen it's uc davis y'all my bad it seemed like uc davis don't got coco so they don't get coco and they don't have let's make sure yep that's muffin that is muffin even if they had you know the coco gene anyways i know they test is at least 180 dollars at vet gen i mean uc davis so the thing is, if you got to start adding on the extra stuff, it's going to be extra money. And if you got to add on the color length, if I don't even know if they got it, it won't be extra money. And UC Davis, if you see any of my videos, I want y'all to know that y'all uh, website isn't very user friendly. Uh, so I went to school for software engineering and it don't seem like the interface on here is very friendly because I can't find nothing on here really. I'm kind of clicking around and going through all of these different pages just to find something simple. I go up to the search tab and I type in a uh, color coat panel and then a whole bunch of links pop up and none of them even take me to a place where I'm actually trying to get to go to basically review getting a DNA test at UC Davis. I don't want to say anything negative about the website, but I'm just saying that I, I wish it was easier to find stuff. I have used y'all in the past. Let's move on. Embark. No, we ain't gonna do Embark. We gonna do uh, VetGen next. Sorry, VetGen. I thought I was talking about VetGen when I was saying all that stuff in a previous part about the section about DNA tests, but that was actually UC Davis. Now we are actually on VetGen. VetGen, to get a full panel with VetGen is $180 for a French Void Dog full panel. And it also and it actually includes cocoa. If you don't want to get cocoa, I believe it is um if you don't want to get cocoa, the test is only $160. So cocoa is only added for $20. That's not bad at all. But the thing is, you gotta start adding in some of them health tests. Remember I said in the beginning of this video that the health test was more important than the DNA test? So if you're trying to do the health test and you start adding in some of that stuff, I, I just clicked one random health test on their website and it was $55 to get a canine multifungal retinopathy. I don't even know what it is, but I'm gonna spell it out for y'all. Uh, well, that ain't even important. Just know that when you start adding these health tests, it gets super expensive at $55 a health test. I don't even know if they offer just like a pure just panel of health tests on this website. If they do, I haven't noticed it. I haven't seen it. I'm reading around and my eyes pretty much catch every single thing. All characters, numerical and whatever character I need to catch, I'm going to find it. Okay, so let's just move on to the next one. Embark. Embark is a test that I got for my dogs. They right here. Embark DNA test kit. has got to be the best. They test for the most health genetic disorders than any other health I mean any other DNA kit out there Embark does and it is super user friendly let me show y'all this box right here now my 12 year old shoot my 9 year old son 
I mean, my nine-year-old daughter could probably, but she could definitely read this and she can probably take the dog's DNA itself. You slip it out this box right here. And when you slip it out the box, you open this up. Let me show you how freaking friendly these things are. You snap this open, right? Look at this, boom. Now, I ain't even got into the part about the price, the benefit, all of the different things that you get with just this test. I'm talking about how user friendly it is. And guess what? Guess what, y'all? The website is the same freaking way. When you get on the website, the letters, they big and bold. They let you know exactly what they're trying to do, exactly what they're selling, exactly what they got in the kits, exactly what they're going to test for, exactly how many different DNAs and colors that they you're going to be able to get out this test. And then when you get the box and you get it in the mail, it's like, boom, look how simple it is, y'all. Look at this, okay? It say, unleash your dog story. Welcome to the Embark Pack. We're getting ready to analyze your dog's DNA using research grade genotyping platform built by our scientists in partnership with the Cornell University College of Veterinary Medicine. Cornell University. I want y'all to know y'all doing some good stuff out there. If ain't nobody told y'all y'all, they appreciate it. Frenchies are IG too. I appreciate the work, okay? Because uh, this is a lot for my bang, for my buck, when I'm already thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in on breeding with my dogs, okay? So they say, visit EmbarkVet.com slash activate. That's the website you wanna go to. All you gotta do is activate the test, right? And then you're gonna swab them up. You're gonna swab the puppies up, put it inside of this. They even send you a tube to swab it and put it down there, y'all, with the liquid to keep it, to keep it good. You get me? Okay, and then when you do that, Three, you just mail it out. Prepaid mail. You see that package stamp on there, y'all? Look at that. They want you to just put it in there, and it's prepaid. It's freaking prepaid, y'all. Do you get me? And not only that, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me get y'all some more details. Let me tell y'all how many freaking health panels. I mean, how many different health disorders they're going to test for on their health panel. They got 190. They got 190 plus, y'all. Let me correct that, 190 plus. And not only that, they gonna test for a lot of those things that the other websites ain't have. This, it is, it is uh, January the 21st right now of 2021. I don't know when this video coming out because I'm gonna pre-record a whole bunch of videos before I release them. But they just came out with Coco in November. They came out with the Dilution Gene in November. And they also test for color length. They test for color length. They test for every single thing those other websites was charging you $20 and $30 extra for. Plus, they do 190 plus, 190 plus health panel check for your dogs. And you won't believe how much I got this test for, y'all. Compared to those other 180, 275, $40 for every extra DNA I add on. Uh, $40 for the color code, $55 for the one to test one health disorder. I got these, both of these tests for about $150 a piece, y'all. I used honey, a honey extension. I ran it. It took these tests down to $355 after tax, after taxes. $355, y'all. I'll pull it up on my phone and show you how the transaction if I had to. But that's what I got both of them for. I got two of them. It was such a phenomenal deal that they came out with those panels in November. I got two of them. I said, I'm a, I'm a bad two. It's such a good deal. They test for 190. 190. Developed. Veterinarian developed. I like this, y'all. So this is the one y'all want to get, y'all. If y'all want to inquire about any puppies, man, hit me up at Frenchies of IG. was F. R E N C H I E S O F underscore I G. Hit me in a DM if you want to see about any puppies I'm going to be showing on this channel. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe for more content if you want to stay in the loop and you want to stay in the know, know how. You got any personal you know, questions you want to ask me about a litter that you got coming up, man? Let me know. It's Cody and I'm out. It's Frenchies at I G and I'm out. All right.